explosions and gunfire rocked an upscale hotel in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, on Tuesday in a terrorist attack that sent people fleeing into the streets and left body parts on the ground. The Somali militant group, Al-Shabaab, told several Western media organizations that it was behind the attack. We are currently conducting an operation in Nairobi, the group's spokesman said to Al Jazeera. Smoke from burning cars rose in the air outside the Duzip 2 Hotel and Office Park on Riverside Drive in Nairobi's Westlands neighborhood. The building was surrounded by heavily armed police and ambulances as wounded people were carried out on stretchers. Police on the scene described it as a terrorist attack, and some said there might still be hostages in the building, which was cordoned off. Heavily armed police moved slowly through the complex, evacuating stores as frightened civilians poured out of shops with their hands in the air. Ivan Enkiroti, who works at the Red House communications firm, said she had stopped by the Amadiva nail salon when she heard a massive explosion. I saw body parts and blood on the ground right outside, she told the Washington Post as she was escorted out of the complex by police. There she was reunited with several work colleagues, and they burst into tears upon finding each other, safe. Everywhere outside the hotel were wounded people, and pools of blood. I am in 14 Riverside Drive hiding in a bathroom, and we are under attack tweeted one man who described himself as being at the scene of the blast. There was a massive bombs blast then gunshots, please. Kenyan police confirmed that an attack had occurred and advised motorists to use alternative routes. Kenya has been repeatedly attacked by fighters from the militant Al-Shabaab movement, based in neighboring Somalia, most dramatically, for Nairobi in 2013 in an attack on the Westgate Mall that killed 67 people. Four attackers also died. In April 2015, nearly 150 people were killed and dozens more injured when Al-Shabaab militants stormed Garissa University in northeastern Kenya. Witnesses at the time said that gunmen entered the university's dormitories and opened fire, at times, separating Christians and Muslims, then, executing Christian students. The standoff lasted 16 hours, and four of the gunmen were eventually killed when they detonated suicide vests. It was the deadliest terrorist attack in Kenya since the bombing at the U.S. Embassy in 1998 killed more than 200 people. The attack also comes on the third anniversary of the El Ad attack, when 250 Kenyan soldiers serving in Somalia were wiped out by Al-Shabaab fighters. Please don't forget to subscribe on our ridiculous channel. I love you. Ha ha ha.